Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Justin and Max Game. And we're going to be reviewing Gaia Project. And everyone knows that Gaia Project is a Terra Mystica based game. I've never played Terra Mystica, but everyone always says this one's going to be better, so might as well get this one when it was on sale. And uh, because there's a lot more variability, the space things could be anywhere, you could be different guys, you got different abilities. And depending on what's going on in the game... And they're all double-sided. The, yeah, so you could have, like, I have Baltox this game, or I could have also been uh, Geodens. I haven't been Geodens, but I was Hashklars, Baltox. Hashklars. Yeah, the, Hashklars. Oh, the Ivins. The, yeah, the Ivits. The Ivits. Oh my gosh, Ivits I played. Most of the times I've played this game, I've been playing two players with... The Wife. Uh, but uh, this last game we played, we played with Max... And that seems to be what happens. We usually play me and mom. We play a game, and then mm -hmm. then we in, uh, in, introduce you into the game. And I guess let's start. Then also we played with our uh, our friend Jean, and mm -hmm. so we played a four player game, and it was really really cool because everything's going on at the same time. And you guess, could you could talk you could talk. I guess we could start with the positives of the game. Okay. I'm personally going to start with the components. Components. The components. Okay. These little tokens, they're simple. But still very nice tokens. They're nice. All oh, the ones that tell you what, how much money you yeah. have and knowledge but and all those? They're interesting, but nice. They're interesting and nice. Yeah, knowledge is a blue, was it a hex? Yeah. Something like that. Money is a circle. And, the, or the a disadvantage, I guess, already is how, like, instead of having 30, you just have one that starts at 15. And you're just, you're just the, I, I, you know, nine times out of ten, they tell you that you start with one with one of your yellows on zero and one. Usually, I just start on fifteen, and then if I add, then I add, and if usually not, and it it can get a little bit mixy, you know, going back with just this one thing. But like, oh wait, no, I have. But it saves a lot of tokens. Imagine if we had money that we actually had to spend or knowledge things. Or had a board twice as long. Yeah, I mean, they made the best of the situation, and it you know what? It wasn't a great situation, but it was the best opt out of it. For so many boards that I always complain about that warp. These don't. These have been pretty darn straight, and we've played a bunch of games, so I'm impressed with just that. And the thickness seems to be just right. I love the little buildings. Yeah, they're very detailed. They're very detailed little buildings. I guess if you zoom in on here, mm -hmm. you can see all the little windows. I could take a picture of it, and we could kind of yep. go into it, yeah. So, they're neat. Well, I put up a couple pictures. They're very detailed. Now, the thing about, nice. to me, the game, it only takes six rounds, and the first couple rounds you're just barely doing a couple of things just to kind of set yourself like up. It took me the first three rounds to build one additional building besides my first two. Right, because it's it's hard to get around where, depending on where, what it is. Where my, I guess, starting area was, where two of my planets were next to each other. Mm -hmm. The only other planets next to it was... Too the, many terraforming to was, get to the next yeah, one? I had to either... Um, it was all green or purple. Oh, green or purple, so then you need all, cubes. and what's it called? It's a purple cloud. The purple ones, um... Gaia? No, the good... Stuff? The green ones are the guy. You know, I've played this game like eight times, but still some of the terminology... Or I'll just buy a bunch me. of them, so I had to spend like eight turns just to get one. And, oh... Yeah. Oh, a trans-dim planet. That's what it was. Trans-dim. I had that surrounded... But, you know, the colors make sense on the board. I like that. For for going on a purple planet, the trans-dim planets, you have to spend purple energy tokens from your circulation to go into the Gaia world, but in order to go onto a green planet, already a Gaia pla planet, then you have to spend a green uh, QIC cube, quantum intelligence thingamajigs. Uh, the game makes a lot of sense. Once, once you start getting into it and remembering what everyone else's advantage or disadvantage is, then you can really, you know, and there's so many strategies. We've played this game a bunch of times now, and depending on what comes out every round, you might want to go for that, which is smaller points. Whatever is the long-term objectives, you want to keep those in check because that's a ton of points. Going up on the tracks, the tech tracks. But that's to, where I focused on. You focused on the tech tracks. Yeah, you were up on all but one of the tech tracks. And that that's was the one I didn't need. The right, the getting uh, QIC yeah, cubes. I already had enough. Then going for which tiles will direct you in a play. The thing about this game, Max, to me, is that the replayability is insane. Is insane, yeah. Because there's so many different characters, and even if you play with the same character, it will feel different with other people playing the same char with different characters. Mm -hmm. Or even if they're playing the same, the board will be set up. There's these are all random. It's just. Yeah, and then the way, yeah, where the way the board Everything, is, where you place yourself. Most through. of the setup is random, so that increases replay. Like, 
How many times do you think you'd have to play this to have a similar game as the one you just played? Oh, I, I don't even. I couldn't even imagine in all, in in. Another 30 plays, probably, before I would start to get the sense, oh, I'm doing this. Because had one different player been in the game, the whole feel is different. The idea, you know, the interaction level in this game, I find interesting. It's high, it's is like pretty decent, mm -hmm. but not in the way you'd think there's no, like, attacky. Yep, this is no attack. There's no attack involved in this game. I guess it could be, like, passive-aggressive. <laughs> it's passive-aggressive. Maybe that should be the subtitle of this game, passive-aggressive. You know what? I'll go to this planet because you just didn't seem to go to it first. Yeah. See, here's the thing I find so interesting about the game. You know, it, it's managing not just the not just the resources on your board, but then what resources you're going to get and when you're going to move your energy around so that you could maximize when you could spend it and hopefully no one goes and gets an energy ability before you do and then you get your free abilities. And then as many pre-planning levels that I try to take in the game, there's always something that just doesn't work out. Oh, you know, now I already spent all my... My energy now. This doesn't really, you know, make, make any sense for me to even have that bonus tile. Like, but can what I just the heck? It out? Frick. Yeah, and then where am I going to go up on the tech tree when I build one of my labs or one of the academies? And you're going to move up there. Mm -hmm. oh, there's so much. Then you, there's, there's so many decisions to make every single turn. And then sometimes, you know, I, I want to pass, but the thing that the the next bonus I mean, token, the, I, the, the the booster, it's like it's I not there. Will. He's got it, so I want. Uh, Right, you'll do something less because you're waiting for someone else to get out the thing. And the thing, you know what though? I, I the only symbology but that the, I keep, the energy tokens are nice. Yeah, oh yeah, the purple. Yeah, as I said, the to all the all the material, all the material is, is really nice. Very good. Uh oh, there goes some. That's okay. There goes some the material. Uh, the only thing that sometimes I forget, and I keep on having to remember this, is there are some symbols on some of the um, tiles that you get. It's a little like a green arc or a red arc or a clear arc. And then the green means anything henceforth you do, you get the points. The clear means only the things that you have already done, you get immediate. And then the red is when you pass, you get a bonus. So sometimes that kind of makes me stop and think what it is. You know, I almost feel, you know, I know they try to make the games, and they did a very good job with this, language independent. Because, you know, the rule book can be whatever, but the board... You don't need any words on these boards. Oh, I guess you do for like what the bonus is here. But I can imagine like instead of the clear uh, little arc that tells you whatever you get, put an exclamation point or something. Ah, it, exclamations in so many games means I get it now. But I mean, I that, like that's twinkle, minor. It's just, yeah. The twinkle is small sometimes. It's I remember. hard to tell. And uh, the, there's also a lot of racing in the game. Like you're okay. I have got four energy that I could spend now. So does she. I got four first. I want to get the four thing there, but if I do that, then she gets the planet. So maybe I get the planet first. Well, then but she then she might get that thing. Because, <laughs> and then in a game with four, to me, it, it, we've I've only played it at two, and at four. You know what would be? I loved it at four an though. Interesting concept. What's an interesting concept? Say it to them. Interesting concept. What's the interesting concept? Leave a like if you enjoy this concept. <laughs> Leave a like if you enjoy this concept. That there's some sort of thing that you can get uh -huh. that will allow you to take a second action. Oh, a second action, like an actual b b bona fide action. That's not a bad idea. It's like, I, I did this. Wait, she's going to get that. Wait. I can, yeah, I can spend. Now I also get to do that. You know, maybe that could be. I know, I was reading that there were some rules that they had in the game that they took out and vice versa, you know, something that put it. But because you have to have these federation tokens in order to get either one of the really good bonus tiles, which no one. I've played this game now seven times once has someone got one of the really good tiles, and even then... I could have gotten it, but I chose it was not worth it. It wasn't worth it because of what you were going... See, that's almost... You know, I know a there's a lot of, of times, replayability and a lot of, of a lot randomness. Of, times, of the area that you're going up, you're already going to be good. In that... You don't, you don't need the tile because you're already good in that area because you're already at the top. And yeah, and that... and it, We don't even know what tiles are going to turn out on those areas, so maybe a tile that turned out... Because in the seven games I've played, only once did I have a federation in order to spend it, in order to get the tile that I wanted at the time I could do it, and that it was actually beneficial to me. Because you have to, I don't know if you know this rule, once you get one of those really good tiles, it makes you cover up something that you previously had. Oh! See, grab one of them. Grab one. This one. If Let's say you have this. 
Let's so say you have, you've already gotten a bonus tile. It's like, hey, look at my cool bonus tile. Now it gets covered up. Oh, uh, yeah, a little tear. And you only have six rounds, so maybe by that time it doesn't matter. You don't even need that thing anymore. Plus the tracks that you're going up there. And you can squeak out a few more points at the end of the game, you know, if you haven't used all of your resources. But in some ways you have to try to maximize how much you have at the end of the game. Because one game I played, I defeated Mom with uh, gleans, which I thought were awful. By one point by playing the heck out of the game. <laughs> gleans. Oh, brother. Uh, there are some... Yes. There are some species that are a little bit maybe easier for a beginning player. Uh, Terrans seem to be kind of a easy into the game. Mm -hmm. There's some species that don't have an ability just to get an advantage at the beginning of the game. And then you're only having to worry about the um, mm -hmm. the Planetary Institute. Mm -hmm. What we're talking about? Yeah. Leave a comment. I'll leave a comment. Which one is your favorite and which one? Oh yeah, which which species, well, which, which is, your species is your favorite? What but let one? me tell you one thing. I, I know I'm talking a lot. I'll let you talk to. You. One thing I like is that this whole game is based on science. You have your labs, you have your institutes, and you have your planetary your planetary you know, institute and your your could academy. Be, this could be a realistic war game somewhere. Yeah, and not a really war game. A science. Whoever is using their science and their knowledge. It's like, to war the best. game. It's, yeah. it's sort of like yeah, it's a little it's war like game. that format. Yeah, and it's not really area control either because it is a little bit. you're not a little bit, but you're but not blocking block. anyone. Yeah, you're not blocking and anyone from like another area. It's like one character who could build on someone else's. Team. Mm -hmm. uh, the map is beautiful once you get guys out there, and it's very clear. Everything is very clear. What you need to do, how you get to places. Uh, when I first played this game on two player, and I kind of got the un the idea, I rated it an eight. But the more I've played, the more I've liked it, and um, and now at four, I thought, it, and it goes pretty fast still. I mean, yes, there are turns where you're thinking, but to, to be honest, most of the time you have enough time between the other plays that when it gets back to you, you're not having to, unless someone passes, and then, then you're just going maybe faster. I'm right around a nine and, and also, a half at this point. You're around a nine and a half. Mm-hmm. Because I really. I'm gonna take a guess at what you think. I'll I'll talk about it. Okay. Then, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Do the guess. Mm -hmm. So. I like the idea, of, or I just like the concept of just like moving around and stuff. One disadvantage that I feel like would just make the game progression easier is that if you automatically started out with two tile movement, and then you can get it up to three, four, and five. Oh, you mean the movement between spaces? I feel like starting out with two is like one is very hard to yeah. start with. Yeah, I feel like you to start out with two. Maybe that could even be a variant if you're new to the game. To start off with to a start couple off of with two. So you're not limited there. It is like the boards are nice, the the designs of the characters. I like the characters and their they're, names. They're cool, nice names. They're, who knows? They might be in the Terramisca universe. But no, the Terramisca universe is kind of like I think it's like barbarians or something like that in the past, and you're building fields or mm -hmm. something. I don't know. And the only real concept of the game that I don't like is that board. You don't like the like or, what I, happens in rounds. I like rounds. the idea of it. Mm -hmm. It just like doesn't seem to fit into the rest of the game. Like the the things that you get every round. Like it should be in a set order that makes sense. You know there are, I I don't disagree with you there. I think some of them, it's impossible really to uh, gain some it's of them. Like, the, like build a federation, turn one. That that would be impossible to do that. So maybe there should be like letters on them so like these three have to go in slot four er, that's like the, the numbers. exactly like this one goes in one or two this one goes in two or three and there's like two of each right, yeah because otherwise there's some that no one gets uh, like, a certain round it's like but that's what i mean there's so much pre-planning i do agree with you and i've felt that in other games as well that's probably why i'm not giving it a 10 it's just because some of these bonus tiles yes, come out in such a random order they don't make and any sense the one component mm -hmm. is with all of these nice pieces they're just like Oh, the 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 first player marker, it's, which we really didn't use because we used the 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 variable and track. Then we used this. Yeah, we used a a character from uh, was it Warhammer, just as a just as a substitute. But we didn't even have to pass it around. No, because it just like, it like, ah! yeah, because we we, this, we saw it from the but track. But this compared to all of the other, it seems a bit lame. It seems lame, but just almost as if it came from a different game. A different game idea. It's just to kind of. So, I have my rating. And can I give you my guess? I think you're right at around an eight or an eight and a half. I'm around a nine point two five. A nine point two five. That's higher than what I thought, but I'm glad to hear it because so I. Then you're nine point five. I was a nine point five, so I I'll go with nine point three 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 to infinity. Mhm. Mm Great. So the official Justin Max game rating. Nine point. Three. <laughs>